Professor Dr. Kikeo Kai Kampitun, who is also chairman of the National Task Force for COVID-19 Prevention and Control, told the first extraordinary session of the National Assembly's ninth legislature that several challenges remain and require stronger action to tackle the virus outbreak. He said the challenges include the fact that numerous migrant workers are flocking home from neighboring countries, a clear reference to Thailand where COVID-19 is rampant. There is a high risk of further outbreaks of COVID-19 in Laos, but more vaccine will be provided to immunize people against the virus, a deputy prime minister told the National Assembly on Monday. Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Kikeo Kai Kampitun told Assembly members that many migrant workers have brought the virus with them, which has resulted in a high number of new cases being reported each day. The southern provinces of Champasak and Salavan and the central provinces of Savanakhet, Kamuan and the capital Vientiane, where most of the returnees have their homes, have been overwhelmed by COVID-19 patients. Treatment and quarantine facilities have become overcrowded. <laughs> He said adding crowded and below standard facilities meant that social distancing was practically impossible, with the result that some of those allowed to go home after the 14-day quarantine period had contracted the virus and then spread it into their local communities. During the first week of August, the number of community-acquired infections was recorded at 90, far surpassing the figure of the whole of July at 84 cases. In addition, some people have entered Laos illegally, making it hard to keep the virus in check. Such action risks the further spread of the virus in local communities. Dr. Kikel said also contributing to the rise in transmission is the fact that many people are failing to comply with the government's virus prevention and control measures. Community outbreaks were under control throughout June until the middle of July but the influx of migrant workers has driven up the number of new cases. The Delta variant of the virus was identified in 97.9% of cases, which medical experts say is highly transmissible. Since the start of the pandemic, the government, National Task Force for COVID-19 Prevention and Control, and local authorities have imposed a number of measures to control the spread of infections. Treatment and quarantine facilities have been expanded to accommodate the growing number of returning migrant workers, while medical staff, equipment, and medicines have been sent from central hospitals to help provinces overwhelmed by the COVID-19 patients. <laughs> Authorities are expediting the vaccination program in order to immunize as many people as possible, Dr. Kikeo said. As of August 6, more than 4.1 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines have been provided to Laos. A total of almost 1,400,000 people have had a first dose of vaccine, accounting for 18.56% of the population, while slightly over 1,200,000 people have had both doses, accounting for 16.53% of the population. Laos expects to receive another 132,000 doses of the AstraZeneca through the COVAX facility, a global partnership to ensure equitable access to the vaccine by the third quarter of this year, Dr. Kikel told Assembly members. The Australian government will donate another 500,000 doses of AstraZeneca next year. Laos has received enormous support and assistance from friendly countries, international organizations, and various sectors of society. From February 2020 to August 6, 2021, Laos has received equipment, medicines, and cash, totaling 88.43 billion ki, 76.25 million US dollars, 23.71 million Thai baht, 13.45 million yuan, 248.67 million Japanese yen, and more than 431 million Vietnamese dong. A further 20.50 billion ki has been donated by various sectors of society. In addition, the government has allocated 50 billion ki to finance efforts to cope with the virus outbreak this year. Thanks to this assistance and the action taken by central and local authorities, lockdown restrictions have been eased. However, Dr. Kikiao stressed the need to further strictly enforce COVID-19 prevention and control measures amid the ongoing outbreak. 
A number of policies and measures have also been introduced to mitigate the impacts of the pandemic on businesses and the general public.